President Biden will hold his first primetime address since taking office. That address will mark one year since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Tomorrow, the president is expected to sign the American Rescue Plan. That bill passed the House yesterday. It was right along party lines. It includes $1,400 direct payments for adults who qualify, as well as uh, extended jobless benefits and then money for schools. This is the first big legislative win for President Biden's administration. And in Chicago, that means funding uh, help for Chicago public schools, possibly hosting summer events, and then getting restaurants back on their feet. Uh, let's Let's go live to Lauren Petty. She has more details for us. So, Lauren, help us break down some of these billion-dollar numbers. Yeah, we're talking $2 billion for the city of Chicago, Zoraida, $29 billion for all restaurants nationwide. It sounds like a lot of money, but there are some really, really deep budget holes right now, especially for things like restaurants who could use this cash. So it gives them the opportunity again to kind of bounce back there, get their finances back in order, and definitely just provide jobs, well-paying jobs. At Nipsey's Restaurants and Lounge, they are planning to hire again after they had to let so many staffers go during the pandemic. The Chicago Restaurants Coalition says that's exactly what the kind of thing that this stimulus money should be used for. Restaurants can get up to $100,000 grants to pay salaries and benefits. And they can also get funds to cover uh, food expenses and operating costs. In addition to restaurants, we know Chicago Public Schools is reportedly set to get nearly $2 billion in federal stimulus funds. And out of the money going straight to the city of Chicago, city officials say they could use some of that to pay for summer events. We're talking about the things we look forward to, like the Air and Water Show or the Taste of Chicago. We know a city council committee did just approve a full calendar of events, but city officials do warn that could still change depending on virus infection rates. So let's just hope they keep going down.